Hello everyone, it's me teacher Mylene. How are you today? Very good. I hope that everyone are doing great. So keep safe always. Welcome to our English class. Today we are going to talk about numbers. Okay, so when you say numbers, it is not just writing them, but also we need to read those numbers. So that's what I am going to teach you today. Are you ready? Okay, so let's start. Okay, so how do you read this? How do you read this? Okay, so we have here 10 and percent symbol. So let's use our pen. Okay, this is it. Let's try it again. Okay, our pen. Okay. So this is 10. Okay, this is 10. Okay. And this one is the percent symbol. Okay, so how are we going to read that? That is 10 percent. Very good. That is 10 percent. So 10. Okay, so this is 10. Okay, 10. And this goes here. 10%. 10%. So, next, I am looking forward for every student to read as a teacher, okay? 10%. 10%. Okay. So, let's remove. Okay, so. Next one. Okay, so how do you read this? How do you read this? How do you read this? So we have two half weeks. Okay. There it goes. Two and a half weeks. So. Let's have our pen. Let's try to use other colors for this. Oh, it's green. So let's change the color so that we can see. We're going to use orange. Okay, so let's try orange. Okay, so we have the word two in here. Okay, and we have number two there. Next is half. Okay, there it is. And week. Okay, week. Okay, we have there week. Or weeks, sorry. Weeks. Okay, so we're going to use and a okay so that is two and a half weeks two and a half weeks okay very good so everybody please repeat after me two and a half weeks okay next one Okay, so a while ago, we studied about number with a percent, right? Or numbers with percent. So that is 10%. How about now? Okay, so we have here. We have here number 39 and a period and four and the percent symbol. So if we have here 
the period. Okay, if we have there the period. So we read it as point because it is together with the numbers. So period is read as point. So let's take a look. Okay. So this is 39. Point four percent. Okay, very good. Thirty-nine, which is this one. Thirty-nine point point four and percent is here. Okay, that is percent. Thirty-nine point four percent okay thirty nine point four percent okay so that is the number words for that now let's go to another page okay so this one tells about the measurement measurement how do you read this how do you read this okay so please look at the screen let's use our pen okay so we have here number five you have here cm cm stands for centimeter okay centimeter and also here, X stands for what? Measurement, okay. So we have zero, again, point. Zero, zero, five centimeter. Okay, so X, okay. if we are referring to measurement, okay, the width or the height, X, is pronounced or it is read as by okay so we have here five centimeters by zero point zero zero five centimeter so let's take a look if it is correct okay it's correct that is five centimeters by zero point okay there is the point zero zero five centimeters okay so that's the number word for that okay any questions everyone okay so if you have questions about our topic for today you may write a comment in my video and I will answer it for you okay so every questions are welcome don't be shy okay so five centimeters by zero point zero zero five centimeters very good okay, let's remove the annotation and let's go to the next one. Okay. Now we are talking about the distance. Okay. Distance. It is how far. How far one place to another. Okay. Or a thing to another. So we have here the word miles. Okay. Miles. Miles meaning it is distance okay very good so we have here number three and in here we have one fourth okay so let's take a look how do you read this three one fourth miles so let's take a look okay so there it goes three Okay, don't forget these words and a quarter miles okay quarter 
So I'm going to, I will explain it to you everyone. For example, this is a pizza. I will cut it into half. Okay, so we have here one. Okay, one. Two. Three. And four equal parts. So if I didn't cut it, that is equivalent to one or full. So since we have this part, we called it quarter. Quarter. Okay, so that's the other term for one fourth. Quarter. Quarter. Okay, very good. So three and a quarter miles. Very good, everyone. Next page. Okay. How do you read this? How do you read this? Okay, we have here kilometer. Kilometer. We have here three fourth. It is a fraction. Three fourth. Okay, so I already explained it to you a while ago that these fractions have terms. Okay, we have terms. So again, a pizza. Okay, let's cut it into four. We have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so we need the three-fourth. So we need this. Okay, only this three parts. Okay, so since it is three fourth, the term there is three quarters. All right, let's see. Okay, so three, three. Three like this, okay. So this one fourth, okay. So one fourth, one fourth, and also this one is a one fourth, right? So if you plus it together, that is three fourth, and the term there is three quarters, three quarters of a kilometer okay three quarters of a kilometer uh, please repeat after me three quarters of a kilometer very good good job everyone Okay, so now let's go on to our next page. Okay, so how do you read this? How do you read this? So we have here 12 and we have here 20. Okay, so we have 12 out of. Okay, so that's how we read it 12 out of 20 okay so example we are talking about the students attendance okay so if we have if we have 20 students okay if we have 20 students and only 10 are present okay 10 are present but we have 20 students another 10 are absent so this one is 10 out of 20 okay 10 out of 20 okay but in here, this is 12 
12 out of 20. 10 out of 20. Okay, let's go to another page. Okay, so we are talking here. We are talking about money, everyone. Money. Okay. Let's use our pen. So how do you read this? How do you read this? Okay. So take a look. We have here three. Three. So there it goes. Three. What about this one? What currency is it? Okay. So this one is the currency for euros. Okay, so those countries in Europe, this is their money. Okay, euros, euros, or euro, and 25 cents. Okay, it is a cents. So let's take a look if it is correct. Three euros, 25 cents. So let's try. Okay, so three euros 25 cents okay so there it is 25 cents okay so everybody any question okay so please repeat after me three euros 25 cents okay how about this one Okay, so this one is a hundred euro. Okay, or one hundred, one hundred euros. Okay, so let's continue writing. Okay, so where are we? Okay, E U R O S. So that is 100 euros. Okay, how about this one? Okay, that's 15. 15, but <laughs> that's Thai money. Okay, so let's go next. Okay, so everybody please take a look here. Okay, we have here the symbol. It is a symbol. Okay, so capital C. Capital meaning big letter. How about this one? It is also a symbol. Okay, and number three. So we are talking about the temperature of the weather. Okay, so how to read this one? Any students who knows how to read the temperature? Okay, so we have here three degrees Celsius. Three degrees Celsius. So let's take a look if it is correct. Okay, it's correct. Three degrees Celsius. It's cold. If it is like this temperature, it's cold. It's three degrees Celsius. It's cold already. Okay, how about this one? How to read this one? Okay, if this one is 3 degrees Celsius, how about this? We have 14 degrees. Alright, okay, so 14 degrees Celsius. Okay, good job. Very good. Okay, next one. 
Okay. Next is another temperature. Okay. But the difference there. Okay. So we have the minus sign. We have four and the degree symbol and the capital C for Celsius. So how are we going to read it? How are we going to read it, everyone? This is minus four degrees Celsius. So let's take a look if it is correct. Okay, it's correct. Minus four degrees Celsius. Okay, so in other countries, minus is also pronounced as negative. Okay, so minus is also read as negative. So if I say negative 4 degrees Celsius, it's correct. If I say minus 4 degrees Celsius, it is also correct. Okay, it is also correct. It's not wrong. So how about this one? I will give you another example. Okay. How about this one? Mm, it's freezing. It is already snowing. Okay, so this one is minus 10 degrees Celsius or negative. Okay, or negative, negative 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, please remember that. Okay, so we are moving on to the next slide. Okay, multiplication table. Okay, so we are going to multiply. Five. We have X. We have four. And we have the equal sign. And 20. So how are we going to read this? How do you read this? Anyone? Okay. So this one is 5 times 4 equals 20. Okay. So this is correct. 5 times 4 equals 20. Okay, correct. Okay, so how about this one? 10 Okay, can you please read it? Okay, try to read it everyone. We have here 10 times 10 equals 100 okay very good next page okay how do you read this how do you read this okay ref colon four three dash capital F nine slash six six so this is how we are going to read it okay there so we have here ref is a shortcut for the word reference reference so this one is reference four three okay dash so that symbol is dash capital f okay there is capital f there it is capital f nine 
slash double six. Okay, so there it goes. Okay, so let's read. Reference four three dash capital F nine slash double six. Okay, so be careful when you're reading numbers, okay? Please remember what we're doing right now because it is important to read the numbers properly. Okay, so next page. Okay, so this will be the last one. Okay, so we have here. Let's use our pen. Okay. So we have here zero, six. Okay. Double one, four, five, five, two, seven, eight. Okay. So how about you? Can you read these numbers? Very good. So, okay. It is correct. So zero, six, double one. Okay, so there it goes. Double one, four, five, five, two, seven, eight. Okay. Good job. You're doing great, everyone. Okay, so everybody, that's it for today. And we are going to have more interesting topic about numbers next time. But for now, let's say goodbye and thank you. Keep safe, everyone. And if you have comments or questions about the topic, please write it on my comment section. Okay, so thank you everyone. Thank you. Keep safe. Thank you and goodbye.